Faster. Okay, so now I'm just holding down A, and uh, I'm not steering at all. So and the horse is just moving. Griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest or the mountains, sure, but here, near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Populated areas. You're nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft and also won't look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked as thusly on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witchers, and local happenings. Gladly. Whoa. Whoa, look out people. Look out, coming through. Witcher coming through. Excuse me. Alright, let's get in here and dismount. Or not. Or the game will dismount for you. The Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just pass through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Let's see. Options marked like this will open the shop panel. Okay. Uh, let's ask if there's a contract on the griffin. Is there a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection or go to the lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Oh, okay. I guess that's how we're gonna be, huh? Pretty busy place you got. Nation's on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Yeah, let's see what she's got. Show me what you got behind the counter. Buy and sell items using the shop panel. Press A to make a purchase. Press B to close the shop panel. Uh, let's see, we have, uh, Gwent cards and, you know, the usual stuff that you're gonna find in a shop. Um, I'm not gonna buy anything. If this game's anything like the Witcher, the first Witcher game, we're gonna find all this kind of stuff all over the place. In barrels and wardrobes and such. Alright, let's get down to business. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. 
And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Let's see, dialogue ending conversations. Dialogue options marked like this will end the conversation. Well, let's end this conversation. We've asked her everything we can. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Yeah. Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Passing out their patrimony. Give it to their own. So we are to ask travelers about Yennefer, and there happen to be true travelers right here, so let's get started with them. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Oh, pleasant. Dialogue axi options marked like this will make use of the axi sign. This sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during a conversation, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to waste this on them, so let's just, uh, you know. Just want to talk. You deaf stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Jeez. Yeah. Running low on patience. Once it's gone, your heads will roll. Oh, we was jesting. No call for anger. See a raven-haired woman here? Dressed in black and white. We know nothing, sir. Leave us be. I don't know if she's anything new to say. Elsa. Something else you'll be needing. Uh, yeah, let's ask her this. Elf guardian rule to your liking? What's there to like? She's the same as any other. They tax us, requisition this or that. But they do keep the peace in the village, I'll grant them that. You don't mourn Tamaria's passing? I mourned it round half a year back, when King Foltest was cut down. Now, now I just want peace. Okay, farewell. Farewell. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me, jeez. <laughs> Gosh. Um, okay, those are the two guys we just talked to, because there's Vesemir over there in the corner. Man, she actually squealed. Jeez. Sorry, lady. Let's see what these guys have to say. What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Uh, I have a feeling I know what he means, but let's go ahead and ask this anyway. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Uh, yeah, go ahead and write about the war. 
Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Hmm. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Alright, well nice talking to you. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Oh, let's see. Options marked with cards. We'll begin a game of Gwent. Alright, let's play a game of Gwent. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. Welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals, and the cards are their forces. You will go first. Well, of course I will, since I don't know how to play. Uh, to begin, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use these wisely. Okay. Unit card strength. This is a unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. Uh, let's see, this is the unit's combat row icon. This icon indicates the row on the battlefield where that card can be played. Let's see, we got swords for close combat, bows for ranged combat, and catapults for siege combat. And let's see, some unit cards have special abilities. This Cadwini Siege Expert's special ability is called Morale Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. And whether cards are a type of special card, they reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. Oh, interesting. So it looks like, uh, like snow reduces the strength of swords, wind reduces bows, and rain reduces catapults. Oh, okay. At the start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw, but let's skip that for now and go straight to playing. Yeah, let's skip that for now. Round start. Here's the battlefield. This is your side. This is your opponent's side. During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Uh, leaders. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability, which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Press A to select a card from your hand. Press A again to place it on the battlefield. Your turn! Alright, what do you say? Um, let's just... These two are basically the same card. Let's just start with a middling card and see what happens. Sheldon Skaggs! I was there on the front lines right where the fighting was the thickest. Total strength. The number on the left by your icon shows the total strength for that row. Oh, I'm sorry. The number on the left by your icon shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when the card is played. At the end of a round, the player with the highest total strength wins. During your turn, you can pass by holding down Y. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you have already have in play, or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. Good lord. A round ends once both players have passed. The players then compare the total strength of their units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded, and both players' total strength is reset to zero. Okay, it's your opponent's turn. I don't really know why, but it is. Okay. My turn. Um, 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 let's, um, 
Let's play this guy. Hmm. Um. Eh. Play this one. Oh, go ahead. So he passed. I'm in the lead, so I might as well pass and win this one, right? Player who loses a round also loses a life gem. The game is over once a player has lost both life gems. Okay, so he lost a life gem. Sounds serious. I won the round. Round start. Northern Realms faction ability triggered. North draws. What? I don't know what that was. Your turn. Well, let's start with a middling card again. It's Siegfried. I know him. We're on the same side, Witcher. You'll realize this one day. Uh, he plays Cynthia. My turn. Um, hmm. Eh. Let's, um, lay out a heavyweight card. Trebuchet. So it's 11 to 8 right now. Let's, um, negate. Oh no, I have a sword too. Crap. That would put me ahead 6 to 4, but I'm already ahead 11 to 8. That would actually make things harder for me. Um, sheesh, I want to save something for the next round. I don't know. Let's play him. See what happens. Okay. Sheesh. So he has. Uh huh. Nope. One of each type of card. Great. Oh, crap. Rain would hurt me way more than it would hurt him. And this would actually hurt me more than it would hurt him, too. So I guess we're going to have to play one of these. Um, let's play this guy. Man, we sure are using a lot of cards in this round. Okay, now if I played this, it would hurt him more than it would hurt me. It would take seven away from him, but only five away from me. So I'm going to play this. I hope I'm doing this right. There we go, 15 to 9. Yeah, try to beat me now, loser. Oh, impenetrable fog. What did that do? I don't know. I'm still ahead. Um, well, how long is this going to go on? I'm not really sure what the fog did. But it seemed to hurt both of us, really. Yeah, I don't know. I'll play, um... This. Crap. Um... Well, I need to save a card for next time. I guess I'll pass and hope that he doesn't have anything that can beat me. Okay, I played that. What's this? What's going on? What the heck? What just happened? Nilfgaard wins the tie. What? 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 Okay, whatever, dude. Great. I only have one card left. He played clear weather. Okay, whatever that is. I don't know what's going on there. Opponent passed. My turn. Well, I guess I'll play this since it's the only card I've got. Oh. Well, he passed, so what? Now I'm done? I won. Okay. Oh, sucker, I beat you my first time. Pro tips, there is no shame in passing and letting your opponent win a round. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards immune to the effects of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of battle. Finding cards, acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing them from vendors. Yay, I won. Well. You have a knack for this game. Apparently. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. See you later. Bye. 
Well, we're still trying to find anybody who knows Yennefer. Uh, you got a new Gwent card. If you want to examine it, open the game menu and go to the Gwent deck panel. Okay. Let's talk to Gunter O... Gaunter O'Dim. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Oh, sure, fine. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Hmm. He seems to know of who we seek. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Hmm. For whatever reason, we received Nilfgaardian Lemon. Um. Well, let's ask who he is. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim. At your service. Vagrant. That a profession now? Ah. Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Hmm. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's Ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Hmm. Huh. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. Huh. Okay. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Yeah, that's really none of your business, dude. None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I oh, know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Perhaps. Okay, quest updated. Lilac and Gooseberries ask the, ask the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer. So at least now we have a bit of a lead. Uh, let's see, did our quest get updated at all? Quests. Um, well, no new text. Ask the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer. Oh, there's a secondary quest. What's this? Collect them all. Uh, complete your collection of Gwent cards. In his previous adventures, Geralt had gained fame as a master dice poker player. Yet, having mastered all challengers in his this arena, he had no choice but to find another in which to garner more laurels. He thus decided to take up Gwent, and since he aimed to play at the highest levels, he felt he had to gather a complete collection of all the cards available, including some which could only be had by winning them off the best players around. Well, 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 how about that? So, it is break time for me... Next time, when we come back, we will ask the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer, see if we can locate her, and do a little bit more exploring here in this little town that we're in. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do hope you have enjoyed this first hour of The Witcher. It's a beautiful game. It just, just really looks amazing. It looks fantastic. If you did enjoy this episode, won't you consider leaving a like or a comment? I'd like to hear what you think about this first hour of The Witcher. And I surely hope you decide to join me for the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you then.